video is a quick guide on how to get started using your vehicle tracking app from feeder truck global limited so once you log into your account you'll be able to see a menu at the bottom of the screen so the first part is the monitor this shows you the real time location of your vehicle which will be drawn as an icon on the screen so if the vehicle is moving it will be green if it has stopped it will be color blue so once you click on the next tab, which is devices, this will be a list of all your vehicles. So from this menu, you can easily click on the vehicle of your choice and you get an additional menu. So first you get tracking. If you click tracking, it will return you back to the monitor page. If you click on playback, you'll be able to view past locations of the vehicle. So you'll get an option of today, yesterday, an hour ago, or user defined. So in this example, let's say today. So once you click on OK, uh, the vehicle will be able to, rather the tracking app will be able to show you all the locations and the movements of the vehicle. The total speed, uh, the speed which the vehicle is moving at and the total kilometers covered. So that's for the playback. Then if you go back to the menu, there is command. On the command section, this is where you can be able to stop your vehicle so once you click on stop engine and you enter your password and click ok you'll be able to disable the power on your vehicle and to restore this you simply go back and click on restore engine for you to be able to restore the power on your car uh, quickly moving when you go to the alert section this will be a list of all alerts generated by your car so in the event there was a power disconnection you'll be able to view it here and you'll also be able to get notified in case of any alerts which you've set. Then when you click on the me button, this is where you can be able to schedule or generate reports. So for example, you need a report on a weekly basis. You simply click on schedule report reports. They click the plus button. You can give your report any name and choose the type of report which you need. The most common type of report which people prefer is a trip report. This shows you all the movements of your vehicle, each stop and kilometers covered. And you can also be able to download this in the format of an Excel file or a PDF file. Some also common uh, reports which people prefer is the parking report, which you get details of all the locations where your vehicle parked and for how long. And you can easily generate this on a regular basis so that you don't have to be going back each and every time to the playback setting with that being said that's the basic overview of your vehicle tracking app and for more features simply interact with our app for example if you need a feature such as geofence still on the me tab simply click on geofence and click on new here you'll be able to draw the specific map the default usually gives you a round shaped geofence map so if your vehicle leaves this area you get a notification or you can choose the polygon uh, style and simply draw your map on the screen and create a specific shape which you need and once you save this once your vehicle enters or leaves this location you can be able to receive real-time alert so to learn more simply interact with our app it's very user friendly and for any queries feel free to reach us through telephone number 0723-645-810 or visit our youtube channel for more tutorials thank you